The showdown between Russia and Ukraine demonstrates how hard it is to understand the story of the other. The struggle over narratives dates back at least to the time of the Passover, which begins tonight, when Pharaoh kept the people of Moses in bondage. So now imagine a world where imagining the other could mean deliverance for warring sides, such as Israelis and Palestinians. In what may be a first, Mohammed Dajani, a Palestinian professor at the Al-Quds University in East Jerusalem, recently took 27 of his students to Auschwitz, the notorious concentration camp in Poland. The idea was to promote greater understanding between peoples, and yet Professor Dajani was branded by many of his own people as a traitor. He proudly calls himself a Palestinian nationalist, but he's also a fan of the renowned Israeli author Amos Oz, who appeared on this program four years ago to talk precisely about understanding the other. He came with a Palestinian lawyer whose son had been killed and who had commissioned an Arabic translation of Oz's work. Uh, first of all, I think uh, to know the other side is something important, whether we want to fight him or whether we want to pe make peace with him. Uh, and knowledge is a light uh, for good and for bad. So if knowledge is the light, Oz himself also spoke of the importance of translating and understanding the other. I am a great believer in literary translations between enemies as a healer, as a method of removing stereotypes and replacing the hatred by more complex, not necessarily by love, but it will improve the ability to imagine the other. And I believe imagining the other is a moral quality. Meantime, Professor Dajani has defied his critics, saying, quote, I do not regret for one second what I did. As a matter of fact, I will do it again if given the opportunity. I will not hide. I will not deny. I will not be silent. I will not remain a bystander, even if the victims of suffering I show empathy for are my occupiers. Powerful words indeed. 